Today, we're installing a priority tunnel. First thing we did was we laid out a string from one end of the field to the other end of the field. We then marked it each spot where the platforms were going to go in and we drilled the holes and lined up the platforms with the string and the platforms are spaced every Here's six Nate feet. holding one of the platforms. They go in the ground, so just the top sticking out of the ground, just like that right there. We're at ground level with the top. Here's Juan. He's augering the, the spot that we had marked right on the string, moves the string aside so the thing lines up just perfectly. The second step was to take these parts. There's three part platforms. There's one part, the middle part, and the other side. And we put those all together and then we screw them together with set screws with a drill with a self-tapping screw and right each there. Each end has a piece of wiggle wire on the three part tube that's screwed on with set screws. So each end has a place for the plastic. See how they're doing right there? What they're gonna do is form that to the pole and then screw it on. It's Ricardo and Alex doing that. Thank you this guys. This is what the three part tube looks like when it's in the ground attached to the platforms. The wiggle wire's on the very first platform, and then we have the second, the third, the fourth, every six feet on down to the end of the house. Here's Nate and Juan putting in the last of the platforms in the ground. We make sure that the, the little nubs on there, if you'll see right there, the little nubs go horizontal across the house. Here's Alex and Everado putting on hoop that's been screwed together. Puts it on there and we go to the other side. And Alex has got his on also. We can do another one here just to make sure we know how to do this. Lift it up. Alex puts it on the hoop platform. There we go. Screw, we'll be screwing that right self there. Self-tapping screw, self screw on, on this sides. side. You gotta make it on the inside. And that side. You gotta make sure you put it on the inside. Because if you put it on the outside, it can rip the plastic. So we're gonna put the screw on the inside so it doesn't rip the plastic. Here we have Ricardo putting that set screw in the base. Self-tapping screw. Perfect. Now what we're doing is we're taking the purlins and putting the pieces together with the swedge tubing to make the house, the length of the house. Right here you've got the joint. And six feet later you've got another joint. We've, there's a swedge tube that goes inside that looks just like this end right here. That's a little bit narrower than the What we're the doing is we're tube. putting tape on all the unions of the channel. The channel's six feet wide, long. And right here we've got a union and so the tape protects the plastic, and there's a set screw, set screw, set screw. So we screwed it on about every 12 inches. This is a view from the one end of the house. It's 66 feet long, and um, this is a finished, finished with the platforms in the ground and the tubes on. Now we're going to start putting on the purlins and getting the sides put together and the ends. That's Here's what's Nate and Juan at each location. There, the swedge is putting in and a set screw with the self-tapping screw with the automatic drill there, the battery drill. Here Juan's got one with a cord. Both will work. Nice job, Juan. When we screw these things together, we're gonna do two screws side by side, not one. Here's Ricardo doing the first screw, and then he'll put one right next to it, so each section has two screws holding it together. Putting the clamps for the braces on. This is a double clamp, and the one you saw over there was a single clamp. Put the clamps 
on. Put the tube in. Approximately, oh sorry, 36 inches of center right there. Then we will do the same thing with this. This is a chance to center right there. And I think we'll get more bolts. Ready? Check. It's just easier than we make it seem. So, a little tape measure. It will be 36 inches, but we also, 36 inches gives it our starting point. But we can take it visually too. You want to take it, Ricardo? See if it's straight? That's not straight. Cut it off, huh? Go up. Oh, right yeah. there. Perfect. Right there? Yeah. Alright. Go for it. feet in length and you use an angle cub at the end on both sides and a single bolt clamp for 33. Yeah to reinforce the structure. Here's the bender, and we're gonna start bending. We got Everado here, and Alex, and Juan, and Ricardo, and we're gonna bend these tubes. They're 33 feet long. We gotta cut them to 28. No, they're 28. They're 28. They're just exactly right. All right. Everado's gonna hook it up. The machine. It's, it hooks up to a three-point. It's a hydraulic. Got two ends. An in and an out. Which one's the in? Either way. Okay. Either way. The bender has a, a gear in it. It'll make it go either way. Yeah. 
if there is a tractor that is labeled in and out, they're labeled right here. So okay. Make sure that the hoses um, are, are hook up in the right direction. If it says it's labeled in and out, you uh, you do it in and out. Okay. The 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 bender has three rollers on it. It's got one, two, three, and they all go clockwise. So fire it up. These nuts right here are what we use to adjust the bender. There's two, one on each side of the, of the screw. Loud. To make the art open up wider, you pull this out because it'll make it flatter. To make it closer together, narrower, you got to push it in so they can close the, the hoop. So you adjust it either way that you want with these nuts. After we put on the side, pieces we now do this cross this angle brace right here we do a pivot cup on the top and a pivot cup on the bottom right there and right next there. thing we did is we put this purlin on this top and we put this one on the other side the same place we put the the door panels on. We have a prop in the ground right here that comes with the kit. It's got a plate on it. It's pounded in the ground right there. It's got a tit on it right here. And then we put a set screw there. We've got wiggle wire on the back for the door. On this side of the tunnel at the base we've got one continuous purlin that runs the length of the house and it's got a piece of channel on it for the wiggle wire. We hooked the plastic there and then we go over the top with the plastic. To another piece of pipe that goes all the way down to the ground and it rolls to the bottom with this handle, with this crank here. And what that does is it allows us to vent the house. So basically there you've got your house. You've got, the thing can be done in about one day with about four guys, two to four guys. And it's really Here's your crank. You've got an insert into a piece of tubing, two set screws, and then you've got your, your crank here, another insert, two set screws. And then what that does is that traveling door rolls inside this white fabric that's attached at the bottom right here into a little pipe. And that keeps that channel from rolling up and down from coming out of it. And you put one about every 10 feet or so. The door on this end is basically just a lift up door. We don't have it put into any channel or anything. We've got a pipe at the bottom holding the plastic down to keep it from blowing. And then we've got a wiggle wired in right there at the top into some channel. And all we're doing there is we can lift that one. We don't have an opening door like we can have on the other end. And the opening door requires a few more parts and we haven't, we didn't, put that on this house but this is what it looks like right here so basically when you're done this is what your house looks like Let's see if I can get back here this the standard house is uh, 20 by 96 and it's under three thousand dollars delivered and this thing's solid so you've got your spacing at six feet on your platforms uh, I've got the double purlin on the top got reinforced hoops on the top that have uh, cross pimbers on them. The single handle some some good wind. Right there, you see the cross member right there? There's one on each one. The, the hoops again are three part, they come pre-bent and this house is a, be is a beauty. When you close the house, you take the crank and crank it back down and one guy can do it or one one person can do it in about Here's the house seconds. halfway closed, so you can you can set where you want it if you just want a little ventilation, or you can go all the way down. I can actually take it down as I film. So there you go, and we the pipe will sit right in that little metal deal, and we'll take the handle, put it up on the house, so it's out of the way, and we're good to go for Here's another day. Here's the tunnel closed. The one end, the other end, it's about 60 feet long we built, and um, we're pretty proud of it. It's a nice house, Juan and 
Ricardo did a great job with the two guys from California of helping us put it together.